Right, so what you want to do is you want to go to google.com and um, the actual URL is up here that you need, but to make it easier for you, just try to type in um, Plantronics Headset up Data. Oops, I spelled that wrong, but here we are. The first result is Plantronics Headset Updata. And let's click on that. And it will take you to this Updata application on the web. So remember, um, we are going to download a software from Plantronics, the Updata, and install it to our computer. And then that enables us to connect our headset to the computer and to the Plantronics website. The whole thing is done online. It's not a thing you don't download uh, the firmware and then record it on and then put it onto your headset. You do the whole thing online. So let's let's have a look at the um, options here. You have all sorts of devices and this is the Voyager Legend. So there we go. Let's take the Voyager Legend and get started. Um, you need administrator privileges for installing the headset updater, so you have to be logged in to your computer as an administrator. Right, um, okay, get started. Three easy steps. Download and install my headset updater, connect your headset to your PC, and personalize your headset with the choices. So let's get started on that. Download and install. If I click on download, then it's going to show me the file to download on my computer. That's going to be a .exe, .exe file, which I can um, install on my computer. And if you actually see down at the bottom, my headset updater was downloaded automatically. And um, I can click on that. What are my options? It's in German, actually. I'll just click on Open. <clears throat> and here we have the recognize the German language or my German IP. And it's given me this in German, but the actual license is in English, so that's a bit silly. So install. This is Installieren, but it's actually install. That's German for, in for install. And it will go and install this headset updater. So don't expect any big application on your PC. Okay, so there was an error in the last uh, installation of the headset updater. And um, you saw the log file, which didn't help us much. And I found out what the problem was. The problem was that I didn't install the installer with administrative privileges, with administrator privileges. So I will show you how to do that and to get the installer installed properly. Um, I deleted the file, so I'll have to go back and download it again. Plantronics headset updater. And here we go, my headset updater. Select Voyager Legend, get started. Personalize your headset, download and install my headset. Download. And there we go. 37.3 megabytes. Let's just go to the folder. And there's the file. It will be finished in a minute and you will see the file with a .exe ending. So you could double click on this file and you could install the installer, but you wouldn't get very far as you saw a minute ago. So what you have to do is you have to right click on the file and run as administrator. Even though I am logged in as an administrator of this computer, I have to, if I want to run this file as an administrator with administrator privileges, I have to right click on the file and run as administrator. So that's what you have to do. You have to accept the agreement. You 
There we go. That was successful. That's German for successful. Okay, so we don't need this. We can delete that and close that. And now it's showing us that we have to connect the headset to the PC with a USB cable. So this is where I give you a very important word of warning. The, we are in the process of updating the firmware, which is the software embedded into this device. And just as with updating firmware on laptops, on smartphones like iPhone, or updating the BIOS on your laptop, updating any embedded software, um, if you interrupt the software, there is no other software on the device to carry on the update. So that means um, if you interrupt the firmware update, then you will have what is called a brick or a paperweight and you will no longer have a functioning headset because there's no set, there's no headset on it. So that's no problem with the Voyager Pro UC2 <coughs> here, which has a USB, micro USB connector. Um, that's no problem with that, but uh, as you know, the Voyager Legend has a magnetic connector, which is fantastic. Um, I, uh, I've just connected it to the laptop, and the picture has changed and shown you the headset line on its side, which you have to do definitely, because if this, if you have it uh, upright or someone is holding it, heaven forbid, then they could wobble about and the thing could um, come off the connector and interrupt the firmware update process and there will be no software on the device and you will have a brick. You will no longer have a functioning headset and there's no guarantee that covers that. So um, please lie it down on its side and don't touch it until you're finished with the whole thing. Let's go and continue. I've connected it and has recognized it as a Voyager legend and giving me the warning, do not disconnect your headset. It may take a few minutes to read the information on the headset. That's what I'm going to do now. And we are in step two of this three-step process. The next step would be to look at the information on the headset, um, look at some settings and update the firmware. One of the viewers on my um, review video said that I had an old firmware on it, so that's why I'm doing this video to update the firmware. So here you can personalize your settings. I've shown you this in my uh, review video of the Voyager Legend. You can personalize your headset. A firmware update is available and will be installed if you proceed. So there we have the confirmation from Plantronics that I have not got the, uh, the, the newest firmware on it. I want to review firmware release notes. I'm just going to click on that and it will open up a new tab. And we are actually at version 106 from August 4th, 2014. And I have never updated the firmware on this. So um, let's just say I would be roughly, yeah, I would be around, yeah, the original, original firmware version 42. So as you can see, we have lots of issues that have been resolved. Um, link reliability, which was a big problem if you're connecting with um, two phones. Um, Lots of bug fixes, multi-point capability. There we go, two audio devices concurrently. The headset will give an alert for an incoming call in the second connected audio device while in an active call using the first device. Okay, um, lots of language supports here. Some voice command changes. <clears throat> Improved functionality with the iPhone and iOS 7, which is fantastic. One um, feature which is gone is when you had the headset on and you got a call, an incoming call, you could take the headset off and it would reject the call. It would hang up. That is no longer supported. And improved audio quality is always a good thing. So that's a good thing, good reason for updating your firmware. Audio performance. Okay. So, and the issue that the headset wouldn't charge when plugged into a USB on a system running Windows 8.1 has also been resolved. <clears throat> so we can close this tab. I think it's a good idea to update the firmware from version 44 down here. 
up to 106. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look through the um, settings to see if I want to change anything. I don't want any announcements because they can't pronounce the names properly, so I don't like announcing the caller. Language US, oh, there are a few more than there were last time. These are new languages. I'm going to put it to UK because I'm from Scotland. Mute prompt here, mute off, voice prompt when mute is released. Yes, I want to keep that. Mute reminder. Okay, I want to be reminded if the mute is on. Smart sensors I want to use. Streaming audio I want to use. So if you have problems with streaming audio and it doesn't work, maybe you should connect it to my headset updater and see if this is maybe set to no. Because if that's set to no, then you will not hear streaming audio through your Bluetooth headset. Voice answer no, which in my opinion it doesn't work. Um, but I could try that later on. Wideband audio for any device. Nope, I don't want to do wideband audio. And that's basically it. If I click on update your headset, then it will start swapping the firmware out of the headset, doing any changes that I have set here. And under no circumstances should I disconnect the headset from the computer during this process. Let's just do that. Here we go, another warning. Um, the current firmware, firmware version is 44. So it's the first the original, original firmware version and the target one is 106. Here are some settings that I have set and the warning not to unplug the headset. No closing of browsers um, or anything like that. Okay. So it's saving some headset settings and it's going to carry on its merry way and uh, update the headset. I'm just going to leave this running so that you have an idea of how long this takes and of all the steps involved. It may be a bit boring, but um, it's installing the new firmware now. I think it's going to take about a minute, to be honest. It's not a massive firmware on the device. I'm not actually going to do anything with the browser or anything. I'm not, I'm not going to start playing about with things, opening new tabs or clicking anywhere. I just don't want anything to close down or crash. I'm not doing any, anything on any other programs on the computer that could um, overload the memory or cause Windows to have a blue screen of death or anything. Just leave the whole computer to do this one important task. Don't do anything else um, parallel to this and you should be fine. So it's verifying the new firmware. This looks very promising. I'm just going to close this downloads thing here. So we have more real estate on the screen. Yeah, so I might actually fast forward this, um, cut a bit out of the video to uh, stop it being that long. Because verifying the new firmware is taking almost as long as installing the new firmware. Uh, restoring standard operation mode. <clears throat> this is the uh, icon on my taskbar that has popped up. Device setup. <clears throat> and it's gone now. So we, the firmware seems to have been installed. It's writing some settings that I have configured in this program. And I should get a confirmation message, message that the whole thing is finished. Okay, update successful. Please disconnect your headset from your PC, which you could safely do now. And that's it. So this whole time, this headset was on, was switched on. So there's no problem. You don't have to switch it off. Um, I just left it on and just connected it to the PC. So you can update another device or you can exit I'm just going to exit uh, and then I will go to the software um, control panel and um, uninstall 
Plantronics, my headset updater, because they actually do have um, programs running constantly and that are listening for um, connected devices, for the likes of uh, Skype programs. Do you want your Plantronics headset to connect with your Skype application and all sorts of things. And I don't like that, so I'm going to install this software to keep my computer nice and clean and tidy. And that was it. This is how to update the uh, Plantronics headset, uh, the Legend, the Voyager Legend Bluetooth headset. And I will do some audio tests using the new firmware with the same settings as in the review. And maybe you could subscribe to hear these new audio tests and see for yourself if the firmware made any difference. Thanks very much.